Hey guys, what is the number two skill that recruiters are looking for in tech employees when they're looking to hire developers? What is the number two skill that they're looking for that they're having a very hard time finding? So I read a report recently and they talked about this. They did a bunch of surveys. And that number two skill is, is it databases? Is it Node.js? Is it React? The number two skill that tech recruiters are always talking about that they have a hard time finding is good soft skills, good interpersonal skills, good communication skills. This is something I've been talking about for a long time. So let me break it down in this video so you understand. So yes, when you become a developer, you have to be a developer. So I talk about learning the fundamentals, uh, getting your hands dirty with code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But beyond that, you also have to have the ability to communicate with other people effectively. Not only verbal communication, but email communication. Just having good social skills so that you can communicate your ideas, receive other people's ideas, and basically just get along. One of my mentors from ages ago, a long time ago, he told me he had many companies. I think he had 10 companies he was running. And he said that he'd rather have an employee who was moderately skilled but easy to get along with than a genius expert who was a jerk. And he knows this from experience because you can have somebody who's really, really good at the core skills. So you might be fantastic. You may have a fantastic Node.js JavaScript programmer who's a master of React. But if this person doesn't know how to communicate well, doesn't get along with other people, doesn't, you know, just basic social etiquette, doesn't have these, you can't fit in and work with other people, which is a big part of the job, they're not gonna wanna deal with you. So one of the things I teach in the mentoring program, shameless self-promotion, links below, one of the things I teach in the mentoring program is how to communicate effectively with other people. I get into uh, the basic emotions the lizard brain reasons why people like you, dislike you, why you feel anxieties, why you don't feel anxieties. All this stuff, by the way, is the foundation of having just good interpersonal skills and social skills. So, for example, if you're uncomfortable with speaking with people you're not close friends with, here's an exercise. Now, you see a link below, a free email-based course. It's free. You can sign up to it. It's called Lizard Wizard Komodo. Sign up for that. So in there, there are exercises designed to teach you how to become a better communicator, how to be more comfortable interacting with people. And so I invite you to join that. Again, it's free. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. It's free. Check it out. And you do some silly little things that have little consequences in your life, but will have major impact in terms of your ability to get along with people. So Lizard, Wizard Komodo, check it out. Uh, I don't want to give it away, I don't want to spoil, I, want to, I don't want to give you any spoilers. People love it, by the way. I've had, I don't know, a few thousand people have already run through it or not. But anyway, check out Lizard, Wizard Komodo. It's gonna help you deal with anxieties if you do have problems or difficulty working with other people. This relates to a common question I get from people who want to come and work in Europe or North America. They ask, can a foreigner, how can they get a job in USA or in Canada or you know, England, etc.? The big differentiator in candidates, really, is communications. Being able to speak uh, and communicate with people in the target country. So if you want to go work in the US, you have to understand not only English, but the US culture. English, American English, is different from UK English. And the cultures are different as well, although they're both English-speaking cultures. And they, you know, US is originally a British colony. Nonetheless, they're different cultures. So if you want to work in England, you have to prepare yourself socially and in terms of your soft skills, communication skills for the UK. Same thing with the US. You have to prepare yourself culturally not just language, but the culture and cultural, cultural issues, so you understand that. So ultimately, you can communicate your ideas clearly, so you can understand other people's ideas clearly, and you just get along. When you're building apps, there's a lot of complexity there, 
So having ability to convey complex ideas succinctly and so that everybody, so that everybody understands ultimately is going to have a huge impact in the success or the failure of the project. I'll close with this. It relates to freelancing. When I talk to people about freelancing and managing projects, and it's not just freelance projects, by the way, any type of project that you're working on, development project, a lot of times the success and failure of the project comes down to expectations. How you communicate your ideas about what this project is going to be in advance so that you and your client or you and your coworker or you and your boss, they're very clear about what it is you're building. When I, in my experience, when I've seen problems where uh, people were unhappy, is because, it was really because of a lack of communication between uh, the, the coder, developer, and the user or the client. That's really, most of the time, that's where the problems come in. That lack of communication so that people understand what to expect in this project. So it's very important. So yes, back to the point of the video. The number two skill that tech recruiters are always looking for and they have a hard time finding is good communication skills. So if you can level up your communication skills or if you already have them and you're a good coder or a decent coder, then your chances of getting a job increase tremendously, your chances of leveling up raises in your job is, is going to increase considerably if you have communication skills. So if you have your good foundation, let's say you're doing web stack, we'll talk web stack and that's what I teach. So let's say you're doing web stack and you know your foundations of the web stack well, you understand the front end well, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you understand how it works, its place, you understand uh, servers and hosting, and you understand the back end, whether it be Node or PHP or whatever it is you want to specialize in, right? You got that in place, you know what you're doing there. You've built a demo site and you've able to, you're comfortable with deploying simple sites, little basic CRUD, that kind of stuff. Instead of learning a framework, I would say make sure you're at your social skills and your communication skills are up to, are up to snuff at that point. And uh, that includes being able to write you know, concise emails. One thing I get when people put questions to me is sometimes they send me uh, the Lord of the Rings in an email. It's like this huge email. I get so many communications, like any business owner. I, I don't have time to, to read Lord of the Rings when somebody sends me a random email. Or even people who work for me. To the point, bing, bing. Title, bullet points, conclusion, you know, actionable statements. Make it easy. A little tip on how to write properly for business. But anyway, there you go. So I lost my train of thought. I do that once in a while. That's because when I'm 169 years old, I tend to lose my train of thought sometimes. I hope you found this video useful. And uh, again, link below, Lizard Wizard Komodo. It's free. Just sign up. And you get emails with little tasks that you do that are designed to open up your lizard powers. It's called Lizard Wizard because when you master your lizard, you become a wizard.